Hi there, um, I thought I'd do a video on this uh, GPS DO and how I've modified it to have more outputs because it's although it's a very nice unit, um, it's just got only one 10 megahertz output. Of course, I could have bought the matching distribution amplifier built by the same guy, but um, wasn't going to pay that sort of money he wanted. So I thought I'd modify it myself to have more outputs. And as you can see, there's one on the front and um, two extra ones on the back here. And there's the main one, one main 10 megahertz output. So um, the only other thing I found annoying about this GPS DO is that they had the um, status LEDs on the back. So I've modified it to have them on the front. Anyway, I'll just take the top off and show you what's inside. Um, this is my original modification. Um, there's a little circuit board um, down there and that's got a uh, NAND Smith trigger on it. It's a 74 HC132 and um, of course that produces a square wave output um, which is fine but um, as the main outputs a sine wave I thought it'd be nice to do the job properly and um, build a little distribution amplifier in there that's um, got a sine wave output on all of the uh, free extra sockets and um, there's a switch also I put in on the front that's to switch off one of the outputs which goes to my counter because sometimes I want to check the internal standard of the counter the internal oven oscillator anyway I'll next show you the um, circuit I've got in mind for the uh, distribution amplifier I'll put in there instead of that board with the Smith trigger on it so this is the basic circuit I'm going to use it's um, based around a max 477 which is a high speed op amp um, it's quite an impressive little op amp it's um, got a minus 3 dB bandwidth of 300 megahertz and which is more than good enough for the 10 megahertz I'll be using it at it's also got a one, one ohm output impedance at 10 megahertz so that's good as well and um, also it's can output quite a high current and this is the uh, one of the application notes that was on the website for this chip um, it's uh, basically a video distribution amplifier with, with free outputs which is um, designed in this design they've got feedback resistors 500 ohm 500 ohm to, to have a gain of two now I don't see any need for that I mean I've I'm getting about 3.8 volts peak to peak out of my um, main output socket on the uh, GPS DO so I've just eliminated that one and put a link to the output which gives it a unity gain and the only other thing I have to do is because I'm running on a single ended supply of 12 volts with this circuit I had to level shift the um, capacitively couple the input signal and level shift it up to uh, 6 volts using 247k resistors uh, should be another resistor another resistor yeah 47k and um, then capacitively, capacitively couple the output and feed it into these three resistors which will be 47 ohms it's not critical I mean the stuff I the, the counter and the uh, two signal generators I'm driving it in 
into um, fairly high input impedance anyway. So now I'll show you the, um, the little mock-up of the circuit before I make an actual PCB. So this is the uh, just a sort of uh, mock-up on a piece of old printed circuit board. Um, it's pretty hard to see because all the components but you know are pretty small. I mean that's the, the actual chip. It's about the smallest I could possibly find it seems. It was the cheapest one I could get. If I wanted a slightly bigger one, a normal size dip package, I'd have had to pay about 15 quid to buy one in this country. But um, anyway, I got that one from China for about $4, I think it was. And um, I'm putting the signal in from the GPSDO through a coupling capacitor. Then there's um, the two level shifting resistors and I'm just using a, res a high value resistor as a sort of standoff to to um, connect all the components to I think it's a one meg resistor and that uh, goes into the uh, into the op amp which is only uh, connected to the circuit board by its uh, earth lead it's precariously um, stuck up in the air and um, quite hard to solder but um, that's the way it goes when you have to do things like this. Anyway, the signal comes out on pin 6 and AC coupled and, and using another sort of high value stand standoff there. One meg just to sort of um, anchor the wires and components in place. And um, that's about it really. Um, just show show you what it looks like on the uh, scope okay that's uh, what it looks like on the scope um, the bottom left hand corner you can see I'm getting a reading 4 volts peak to peak that's on the output if I go to the input with the scope probe uh, 3.92 roughly peak to peak so it's, as I said unity gain go back to the output and show you how good the output um, current is on this chip I'm going to stick a 22 ohm resistor across the output Okay, that dropped it by, well, it went down to 3.84, so there's hardly any drop at all driving a 22 ohm resistor. So, next I'll get on and uh, make a little printed circuit board and use surface mount components because they're easy to use on a, it's got to be a small board anyway to go in the box. Okay, this is the uh, finished circuit. I've just etched it and I've stuck all the components on it. The MAX477 is in the middle. That's the input coupling capacitors and the uh, level shifting resistors, output coupling capacitors and 47 ohm resistors um, and some decoupling uh, electrolytic and um, 100 NF uh, decoupling and uh, it's really hard to focus on this because it's so s small but anyway um, I'll just wire it up and check it works before I stick it in the box okay um, I've got it wired up I'll just put the scope probe on it and that is the result on the output Some some instability there I see. Now if I connect a 1.5 puff capacitor across the input that goes away 
So it looks like I'm going to have to stick a capacitor across it. 1.5 puffs not going to affect the 10 megahertz, I shouldn't think. So it's back to this old ring iron. Well, I couldn't find a surface mount 1.5 puff capacitor, so I had to use a, a normal leaded one. But anyway, it works nice and stable now. So I've only got to wire it up and stick it in the box. Okay, that's the uh, finished article. That's the board installed. It's pretty hard to see it really with all the wiring in there. It's really hard getting all the wiring in there, though, especially the coax cables, which are a PTFE and quite hard to deal with. Um, so I'll just check it on the scope and. Um, Right, um, scope probe. So one one output on the back, which is fine. The other output on the back for the counter. Nothing on the scope until I switch the switch on the front panel, and. Finally, the last one is on the front. Right, yeah, and that one's working as well. So, project complete. So, I can put it back together now. Bye for now.